What do you guys think about this sweatshirt? Let's take a look at it right now. It looks like it's a tour sweatshirt, but it actually says the Knocking Them Down Tour. And it has the na last names of uh, many men who have become embroiled in sexual misconduct claims and then the dates that those <coughs> scandals went down. And at the end, after poor old Matt Lauer, poor, it was said facetiously, Trump uh, TBA is the date when his finally takes him down. So. There is conversation, there was one article in particular by uh, Meg Kinney uh, who wrote, I, I also hate these men and while I understand the impulse to commemorate this wave of them finally being held accountable, it hardly feels like a time worth of glee or gloating saying that this is really celebrating people's demise as opposed to having more of a sober conversation of the full implications of these what these women went through and how our society should be. And it's kind of like spiking the football when it really was never a game to begin with. So what do you guys think? Who's buying it? It's $59. Whoa, wait. Yeah. $10 yeah. goes to the New York Alliance Against Sexual Assault and Women's Support Network of New York, uh, of your of the New York region, Ontario. Mm -hmm. New York region, Ontario. York region, Ontario. That makes yeah, sense. I mean, I, I think that the sweatshirt is really clever. Um, at first, I was like, that's funny. Um, I would wear that, but then I was like, oh shit! Like only ten dollars goes to goes to you know the sexual assault, you know whatever. Um, so somebody's making money off of all these people doing really bad things to other people. So I was like, that part kind of gets yeah. to me and it bothers me, and I don't know, and I can't promote that. I think I would feel differently if all of the proceeds went to yeah. an yes, organization. Exactly. But, right. But but I but, but I don't really want to get into the percentages because honestly, for me, I saw this and I was like. You know, every what you wear is your own form of expression. Everyone has the freedom to express themselves and to create a sweatshirt that looks like this. I think that's good. But for me personally, I was like, I don't, I don't really mess with this. Yeah, and I, I also was, was like, I feel like I, it's, I just, it's a very bold. St I Grace, I felt this. Go ahead, finish. I felt the same way though. Nah, I mean, I, it's kind of hard for me to articulate. It's just sort of, I, I, I don't want to. Commemorate this. I also don't, but I also want to like give it the gravity that right, it should. Right. But I don't know if me personally, if I would feel that way, if I were to wear the sweatshirt with the dates on that. Yeah. So you articulated it just fine because I think they're 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 trying to bring a certain sense of levity, I guess, to the situation when you wear that shirt. But I think about because in, in the article, the woman, the person who wrote, and, and Jezebel who wrote the article was just like, no, this is just further. Let's say you're a victim of sexual assault and you yeah. see this. You're, I'm further. It's re-traumatization, right? The, someone, someone that has been through this that's trying to come back from this, that's trying to heal from this, is going to be reminded by this shirt. Grace, you make a great point. People's personal expression is is is, is their freedom. They can wear whatever they want. I personally would. If I saw someone wearing this, I would, I would, I would think that they're. I would be a little offended. But some, but here's the thing: like that's you and I. But some people could wear this shirt and feel really empowered by it. If for, you know, we don't know other people's experience. Someone could have gone through something and then they see this sweatshirt, and for them, it really strikes a chord of like, wow, like yeah, you know, fuck these guys, and I'm taking ownership of that. It's just for me personally, that's not. I, I, yeah. I that's not the way you do. As an yeah, owner of many statement tees, yeah, <laughs> yes. and like things I bought, I was like, yeah. I have a shirt that says I got bourbon faced on shit street. It's like I got shit faced on bourbon mm -hmm. street and I bought it and I was like, this is awesome and I'm gonna wear it all the time. And then I wore it out and I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh crap, kids are, there's a kid here. I didn't realize there would be kids in the world when I wore it out. <laughs> and then, so that's how I feel about this is I, yeah. it does give you that like, I totally hear the kick ass and take names. Like y'all are coming down, but then again, if enough people are wearing this, it does feel like less of a movement and more of a mob. Yeah, well, it like we're scalping me. and like putting it. And I did know you guys scalp see the um, connotations? But to, br to bring up what you were just saying, did you guys see the SNL sketch this past weekend of the kids going to Santa and asking them questions about all the scandals that are in the world right no, now? No, what is it? Uh, so it's all, these kids uh, go to Santa and they're like, "What do you want for Christmas?" And they're like, "I want this." And also an answer to what Matt Lauer did, like, or like <laughs> what, like, and it's and basically it's talking about how these kids are aware of things that are happening in the world. 
and how do grown-ups explain some of the awful yeah. things that are really difficult for us to explain to ourselves and each other? How do you explain that to a kid? And I think that um, not that I'm saying like you should police what you wear because of children. I think that's again your own decision. Um, but it is an interesting thing to bring up. Like if you're like wearing this shirt and it says the Knock 'Em Down World Tour or something, and someone's like, oh, like who was uh, who was Weinstein on the tour? Like who is? What are these dates? It's like, oh well. <laughs> yeah, here Funny was you should ask. here was one of the comments that I found interesting. They said, "What's not fine is you, the writer that we're we've all mentioned, saying it's improper for people to experience or express emotions in response to these events that does not jive with your personal emotions emotional set." God knows I'm no relativist, but it's a total Jezebel reader. <laughs> but you know you but you need to allow other people agency. Um, I, I don't buy this at all. Really? I think this is horseshit. Well, it's just like, oh no, this is this is a new website where what we're having is a discourse about how we feel about stuff, and I'm not thwarting your ability to express yourself. I'm expressing my feelings right. about that means of expression, hoping that you, a grown up, will take into consideration these points I've laid out mm -hmm. and in you know interpolate it into whatever you think your behavior should be. Right. I yeah. I yeah. I, again, I, I people can wear what the hell they want. I, I feel that if is this too soon for something like this? I guess maybe you know with with was, I, am I wrong? Am I, am I crazy? Like I mean, this, is, this is inappropriate. That. If one of those names turns out not to have done it, yeah, then it really is a symbol of how yeah. like we got some innocent folks here, right? And also for me, it's not only that, Jason, but is is this the best way to go about helping the people that are victims and right. helping? Other victims of sexual assault. That's is this, it. Is this the best Darren, way? Oh my God. For me, I don't right. think it's the best way. I mean, I think you could just donate yeah. the ten dollars that are going to go to that. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for giving me the name right. of two exactly. places yeah. I can like, get to. There I think you go, that's, and, you don't, think and that's then it. you don't have to have it on your body. But right. um, for me, it's just not the best way. I think I can come up with to help these people. I think <laughs> I agree. I think yeah. that's where I land too, because it's, I, I just imagine someone wearing that shirt and being like. Like F yeah, like not not yeah. just saying it's, it's, it's too much. much. We, we gotta leave it there. Yeah, it's we got seven seconds Sorry. left in the show, and I want to use it to thank you for watching. Thank you. Be kind to each other and to Grace. What? I don't know. <laughs> Two seconds. Bye. <laughs>